Archaeology Event 2022 in Forge of Empires. Starting May 2nd, 2022, there will be the fourth archaeology event in Forge of Empires with new, unique rewards. As usual, scrolls are to be collected again. You start the event with an initial inventory of 120 scrolls and get another 42 scrolls for logging in each day for the first time. More scrolls can be found occasionally in the incidents in and around the city. Then, as usual, there is a long quest line. The first 39 tasks of the rush quest provide 70 scrolls each. The 21 daily quests after that give even 95 scrolls each. You should plan long production tasks in advance and have enough production buildings. Especially the productions from the current age need some preparation in order not to be too slow. This is especially true for quests 44 and 51. With the scrolls, you can now acquire tools in the minigame. It is recommended to always take the largest tool set and not to buy the tools individually. With these tools, you can then advance the excavation in the event window. Brushes are rather something for the filigree fine work. With these, you can uncover a single field. With a shovel, you can uncover an entire column at once. And dynamite blasts all the surrounding fields. But don't worry, blasting does not destroy any relics found on the contrary, it exposes them undamaged. However, the effect of shovel and dynamite always ends at the next wall. Their use must therefore be carefully considered. Seeing a relic is not enough. You first have to uncover the respective field with one of the tools. After that, you can collect it or it will automatically go into your inventory when you move it out of the visible area. In most cases, the brush will be the most suitable tool. However, in some situations, it can be helpful to use a shovel or dynamite. During the excavations, you can find more tools and relics like vases, which contain known possible prizes, including a daily changing special with a 5, 7 or 10% chance, depending on the vase. The archaeology event is, compared to other events, relatively stingy with daily specials. It will rather not be enough to assemble a complete ferris wheel from scratch, especially if these are very early daily specials. But you can certainly procure missing kits from the antique dealer in the future then. Besides the ferris wheel, the world's fair and the airship, the main prizes of previous years, there are quite a few other daily specials. You can also find clay tablets during the excavations. Each of them starts a small extra quest series with five tasks. The first four give five scrolls each as a reward, then the fifth task gives a special prize of medium quality. It takes great luck to really find all the clay tablets. Most of you will end up missing at least one to complete the whole set. If you have completed each of the eight mini quests, you get a set of tools for further excavations plus an avatar. By the way, some more avatars can be found directly during the excavations. Then there is a calendar modeled after the advent calendar. It offers a possible small prize every day and a special reward if on all days the calendar was opened with a gem found during the excavations. This disrupts the focus of the dig on days with great daily specials. 
if you find a second gem on a day, you get a shard instead. These can be combined to activate days that you have not been able to open before. Players should explore all possibilities to get more scrolls. Besides the incidents around the city, the mini quest series from the clay tablets are especially suitable for this. My recommendation, do excavations on each day until the gem for the calendar is found. Keep all other tools for the next days to complete the calendar. In order to always have enough tools, especially at the beginning, you should play the quest series very quickly. The main prize this year is a building set, the Butterfly Sanctuary. The central building of this new set is a butterfly house and can be upgraded to level 5. It gets up to 6 set bonuses from its matching neighbors, which should all be different for that. These neighbors are the Marigold Patch, Snapdragon Bloom, Daylily Flower Bed, Wildflower Meadow, Sapphire Arc and Magenta Arc. These set buildings also have interesting set bonuses if they each have two or three corresponding neighbors. A complete set with the butterfly house at level 5 gives, among other things, 20 forge points and 53 goods per day, as well as 18% attack bonus and 10% defense bonus for the attacking army and 8% defense bonus for the defending army on a total area of 7 times 6 tiles. Only after a motivation, the Yeld is secured against looters. Therefore, this building should be secured daily against looters with a self-aid kit. You get the Butterfly House as a level 1 building for completing the 5th quest. You will then get an upgrade for completing the 45th quest. 20 golden idols are needed in the minigame excavations to get a grand prize. The first grand prize and every second grand prize thereafter earns you progress towards the event's main prize, the Butterfly Sanctuary. After the fifth grand prize, you have enough upgrade kits to bring the Butterfly Sanctuary to level 5. You get the matching neighbors from selection kits. You always get two selection kits from milestones in the event quest series, enough more than from the main prizes in the minigame. And then many also have the event surprise box. On the beta server, this was a relaxed event that allowed every active player to get a complete set at the end. Once again, that makes this event really interesting.